right, give you a little commentary. Sorry about my sinuses are giving me fits, so I'll try to bear through this. This is the 450 Bushmaster. I built this gun about three weeks ago. This is my first time out shooting it. has the Vortex Diamondback scope with the Burris pepper mount LAR lower got a bad lever hold grip put a bipod on it just cause I felt like it the Magpul PRS. I've already put a couple rounds through it. It's doing pretty good. I did lap the scope rings, which I think makes a big difference. So, get a little more video here, see if I can get this on. So hopefully this will be the last scope adjustment I need to make. It's pretty close. There's here, you can see the vortex dial, quarter inch clicks. So I need to go, I say, one, two, three. Up. There we go. One, two, three, four. All right. Well, we'll see what this does. Alright, if you're wondering about the ammunition I'm shooting, it is the Hornady 250 grain custom FTX. Ended up with about five boxes of these. I'm surprised I actually found some. I was quite happy. But in the magazine in general, it is. 450 specific. Get that to focus in. Nope. And the other thing I forgot to mention is that is a Timney four pound single stage. And I really like it. It was money well spent compared to a stock AR trigger. So the last group I shot would have been this right here, and that was all four shots at 37 yards. That's what my rangefinder said. So I'm going to keep it that high to compensate for being a little further back if need be. I still probably need to bring it a touch to the left, 
not much. I could probably live with it if I had to. But other than that, uh, pretty happy with it. Of course, you can see four shots. That's my entire index finger went right through that. So, really happy with the way that gun performs. So, well, to end it, I'm going to take four last shots at some different targets. Got the Mountain Dew can, brisk, and a glass bottle down here. So, see if I can hit those.